Um, we want to eat. <laughs> I did know that what we were experiencing was a moment in history. The University of California Education Abroad Program is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Our first class of 80 students went to Bordeaux in 1962, and that has grown to over 100,000 alumni. And we've been hosting a number of celebrations and events literally throughout the world and on the campuses to celebrate this 50th anniversary and to look, to, to look forward to 50 more years. When it started in Bordeaux 50 years ago, the UC Education Abroad program was truly a first of its kind in the area of international education. What year was this? Do you know? The one thing that every student who goes on the UC Education Abroad program says upon returning is that it was a life-changing experience. And it's because very often they witnessed some very unique events. I'm Leslie Myers Zomal. I participated in the first UC Education Abroad program, which went to Bordeaux, France. It was a time of intensity and change and issues, and we were studying individual topics that related to this all year. So I think that prepared us for the fact that things were happening around us. Most of it had to do with France and the fact that they were in the process of collapsing the Fourth Republic, which had not worked, electing de Gaulle, and those elections were going on while we were there as students. The people that I got closest to was the family that I lived with, and that was almost accidental. They had taken me in because I represented income that would help them um, get a refrigerator. That was their basic goal, was a refrigerator. And the father in the family was a machinist, and he was very active in his union. And as a union organizer, he actually brought his union steward home and had a formal dinner where the, my three friends from the class and I got a chance to sit down and spend a whole afternoon discussing politics. I learned a tremendous amount from those discussions because class was a really foreign concept. For me as a 20-year-old, it's still strange to try to figure out what class means in the United States. It certainly doesn't have the same meaning that it had to the French worker. This was a group after we'd been in Bordeaux uh, probably several months and um, they got us all together and took a formal black and white picture. The excursions which we took, one memorable one in Bordeaux, we went to taste Sauternes wines. Every time we went to a vineyard they gave us a lecture and then we would drink the sweet wine and about three in the afternoon, we were ready for a nap and did not want to hear any more about picking the grapes one by one. There were three of us that were bicycling through Northern Europe as a part of our after Bordeaux experience. And we were in Holland, as I remember, staying in a youth hostel that was actually in a windmill. And somebody came in with a local paper, uh, I'm sure it wasn't in English, that announced that Kennedy was gonna be in Berlin in about three days time and so we looked at each other we looked at the calendar and said let's go uh, so we biked to frankfurt and we dropped off our bikes at the uh, frankfurt train station and then hitchhiked to berlin by the time we got there the crowd was so big and we were not particularly tall and uh, realized that we weren't going to see much or hear much so we went up into the apartment building that looked closest at hand and we thought would have a view. And there was a family there that invited us in. In the world of freedom, the proudest boast is, Ich bin ein Berliner. The crowd was ecstatic. They were standing in the street. They were responding to whatever he said. And the only thing we understood was Ich bin ein Berliner, which was, I am a Berliner. I am someone who's experiencing what you're experiencing every day. And that really connected, I think, with the crowd. So we sat there and watched this and had a sense that we were involved with something that was kind of special and spectacular. Not knowing that Kennedy was going to be assassinated in four or five months, you realize that was one of the real 
marks of his presidency. You know, then historically, once he had been shot, that really, I think, made that an even more impressive kind of moment. And this is the family that then took us to the wall that we uh, made friends with. There were graves for people that were jumping and dying in the process, either shot or died in, in the fall. And we, we got a real sense of what, how the wall worked and how that division affected lives both in East Germany and then in West Germany, and particularly in West Berlin. It was real. It was a reality of what this meant to their lives, so that it wasn't just a, a theoretical Germany's divided and you had a sense of what it was like to live in a divided community, divided family, but also when you're on the east side, clearly in a police state. I would say for me, that sense of being able to empathize or being able to understand things that go on in the world beyond the United States was a result of, of all of my experience in Bordeaux, but particularly that Ich bin ein Berliner moment where you, we made an effort and we had a chance to you know, to be there and to be with people and their openness to us. When I look back, I realize that in the big picture, it changed a lot of things because I was much more ready for experiences that were like that. I mean, I saw the world differently, and it was a sense of participation in the world in a way that isn't like just watching it on television. <laughs>